Hello friends, so in this video tu tutorial again, we will take up another simpler problem uh, in which uh, uh, the orthographic uh, projections uh, uh, are to be drawn for the given object. So we have the object given and the arrow mark is uh, representing the direction of the front view. So let us uh, start here with the front view. So we know that in this case we have uh, in the front view the principal surfaces visible to us. This uh, rectangle will be visible to us. So it is 3 by 1 so that we can start with and we have this inclined surface visible to us. Please note that uh, these uh, corners are at the grid spaces but these two corners are not on the grids exactly. So they are uh, you, ca uh, you can easily see that they are in the middle of the grids. So you will need to have uh, the snap size reduced to half of the standard size of 0.25 that means the snap size has to be 0.125 so that way so you can make this uh, inclined surface now uh, let us begin making the front view so we start with the line command so with the line command and uh, the front view is here as I mentioned earlier, so we can start with the principal surface. So that principal surface is 3 by 1 rectangle, so that we have shown at the bottom. Now, the next thing is the uh, another principal surface we can take up. So, this principal surface you can see it is, compo uh, it is its height is uh, uh, 2 grid spaces, but uh, it starts after uh, one grid space from the uh, top of this uh, edge. So, so first of all, so what we should do is we should uh, change the snap size. We should change the snap size to 0.125, and uh, then we shall be able to construct this particular principal surface one and half in uh, length and two grid spaces in height and its location is one grid space above that thing now uh, uh, by the advantage that you get by drawing the principal surfaces first is they are very easy to draw and uh, easy to imagine and uh, at the same time they give you the reference points for the other complex surfaces for example inclined surface or askew surface so in this case we have the inclined surface available to us for that two of the corners so or this edge itself that edge itself is already available to us so this inclined surface we have this corner exactly at this point because in the front view the depth data will not be visible and this is the edge representing the depth and this edge will not be visible to us in the front view you can see the direction of arrow this edge will be appearing just as a dot so this point and this point will be basically same thing so that means if this particular principal surface is available to you in the front view and and in that case this corner itself will represent this corner so with this point in mind we start with this point and uh, we locate so one two three three grid spaces as the height of the inclined surface and we uh, reach the other corner uh, of the inclined surface this is the inclined surface that we are making so this is exactly what will be visible in the front view now what about the top view in the top view you see we have uh, the principal surface one this triangle this another triangle two second principal surface then we have the trapezium available so let us construct them one by one so this triangle will start with so this is three grid spaces in uh, length 
and in depth it is four grid spaces so let us start with that three grid spaces and this has to be exactly aligned with the other given data so four grid spaces in depth so this triangle we make then we can make this triangle whose uh, or which who, who, whose depth is two grid spaces and uh, then we have one and half grid space so two grid space up to this point is completed and then automatically it stops at the one and half grid space and that appears on the inclined line here now the last thing is the trapezoid at the top so for that trapezoid so this corner and this corner they are already available one two the third corner this particular corner is also available here and the last corner is just from here you go along the uh, depth direction and you move by two grid spaces and you reach the last corner so that is how so from this point you go along the depth and uh, uh, go around two grid spaces and you reach the last corner you join them together with the other corners of the trapezium and you get complete picture available to you in the top view now what about the side view the visible side view here is the left side view so the side view has to be shown on the left side so please note the length of the front view and length of the top view that uh, both has to be same because it is the length of the object length of the object is constant and uh, so they thus they have to be completely aligned vertically so the front view and the top view has to be completely aligned vertically similar way the side view and the front view has to be completely aligned so for the side view what do you see for the side view i see one rectangle which is 4 by 1 at the bottom so that you can start with so this is the principal surface you have then you have only the inclined surface visible to you and uh, for that so oh, you note that so basically the inclined surface that is visible to you so to uh, for that one corner this particular corner is already available to you or two corners are available the other three corners so we have to locate so this corner is simply move uh, one grid space up you get to this corner now what about this corner how do you reach here so for that you note that you have to move two grid spaces along the length and one and half grid spaces you decrease the depth that is how you reach this corner now movement along the depth is to be ignored in side view so so uh, what you need to do is only move along the length by two grid spaces so that is how you are going to reach this corner and now the now the next thing is this edge so along for this edge we have to basically move up by we have to basically move up by uh, two grid spaces you can see even by clicking it so it is uh, 0.5 autocad units that means it is two grid spaces because one grid space uh, is equal to 0 0.25 so 0 0.5 means it is two grid spaces and uh, also uh, on the other side also you can simply check that when the point is on the grid so from here to here so this high this length and this length they are equal so this is this was uh, two grid spaces only so that is how you complete the next step and then we have another corner so for that uh, you complete this way so this way we complete the drawing thank you